Alrighty, hello U7 and U8. Here is another iPad tutorial which will explain how to make a ring that can be 3D printed using our superhero logo. Uh, we emboss the superhero logo on the top, kind of like this. So to begin this, to begin this tutorial, I will use this logo for the tutorial. The very first thing you need to do is find the superhero logo file. And what you're going to do is go to projects, select, click on it, and you want to duplicate. All right? And yeah, and then open the duplication. The whole point there is if you make a mistake, your original logo won't be affected. Righto. Now, what we're going to do after this is look in our workspace here we are going to delete if there's a picture we're going to delete our sketch if there's any sketch faces we're going to delete those all we want to see is body okay all we want is bodies then we're going to go to tools union so if you looked at the union symbol i'll go back and i'll show you Tools, Union, so Offset, Champer, Extrude, Shell, Lot, Union. Union is like two ob objects being smashed together. It basically works by, it, what it does is like merges everything into one body, okay? So if we do that and click the tick, good. And if you come back and look, if it's one body, you're, you're good to go. Um, if that doesn't work and there's multiple bodies, it might just be that certain bodies in your logo don't touch. If that's the case, select all the bodies and put them in a folder. Okay, both ways works well, but I just find this is the easiest. All right, now once we've got our logo all merged into one body or put in a folder, we're going to hide it. And then we'll close this. Then we're going to go sketch and we're going to click front. We're going to find the circle tool and we're going to drag that out like this. Now what we want to do is this circle will be the size of our finger that you're going to put your ring on. So we have little tools downstairs where you can measure the circumference of your finger, actually the, the radius of your finger, the diameter of your finger. Just use that and you're good, okay? But just for the purpose of this, I'm gonna say my finger is 24 millimeters. Click OK. Then underneath circle, ellipse, polygon, offset edge. We're gonna find offset edge. We're gonna click and we're gonna drag an exact copy of our circle. Alrighty? So there's the inside of the ring and that will be the outside of the ring. We want it to be three mils. If it's smaller than that, it will be very fragile and not very, um, not very, it'll break when you put it on. All right, next thing, we're going to drag a line down and through our two circles. We should line up everything with the blue and the red line so that that is the center. And then that we've got this um, matching, this line that goes perfectly down the center. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. A line that goes exactly down the center. We will use this line to revolve our ring, but we'll talk about that in a sec. Here's the little design part of our ring. You drag this. This is like the top of our ring. Here's the side of the ring. We can add some details to the ring here, like a little thing that looks like this, maybe. A little thing that looks like this. We put like a little lip on the ring. This will make sense in a second. Trim. Trim all of these excess bits. You can trim that line, but do not trim anything on the other side. Right. Once you've got a sketch that looks like this, it's kind of like one half 
of a ring drawing if you're looking at it from the side. Click Exit Sketch. Click the little view cube in the top and click your default view. Then we'll go Tools, Revolve, tap on that picture you just drew, tap on the line in the center, click Done. Alrighty, does not look much like a ring at the moment. You have one thing to do. Alright, go back to default view, go to your bodies, we can remove this sketch plane and we can hide this body. Oh, actually, made a big mistake. Do not remove the sketch plane. Turn the body off though. Select the two halves of the circle, turn the body back on, and then drag that circle through one side of the body you just made. Click it again and drag it through the opposite side. Deselect. Now you can delete that sketch plane. And if you spin your thing around, you've made a ring design. All right, so that's the body of the ring. Now we need to put our logo on the top. All right, back to default view. Turn your original logo back on. Chances are your original logo is gigantic like this. If that is the case, click on it, click scale. Oops, let's try that again. Click scale. Make sure it says uniform. Drag your logo down so it's kind of getting closer. Move and rotate. If your logo is facing the wrong way, rotate it so it's the right way. Now you've got to kind of like position your logo in place, looking at different uh, angles so you kind of get the idea of where it is. Right, let's try that again. Scale. Scale. Moving. Right, look at the top. You want it to sort of fit inside the top without really going outside. Move it down. And the last little thing you want is for the logo to touch the body of the ring. All right, cool. So if you look, when you move it, you can see it sort of like entering the ring. Make sure it enters the ring. Deselect all. We're going to find that first tool we used, Union. You're going to click your logo. You're going to click your ring and click Done. All right, let's go to Visualizer. We'll drag a metal on top of our ring. Right. This is just playing around. Okay, we've well got a cool effect now. Our ring is it our logo is attached to our ring. We can go and look. There's no bodies in here. There's only one body, which is the whole ring. Everything's connected. We're done. Up the top, share. If we want to 3D print, you're going to click 3D print. You're going to click STL. You're going to type your name, ring, return, export. All right, do not save it to the cloud. Save files to your, on my iPad, okay? Save. And if you email that, we will 3D print the ring. Yeah, thank you.